So what's new with Ample Note? Today we're going to be diving into 15 new features of Ample Note since we last did our video about GTD from the summer. This will dive into all of these features in a bit more detail and give you an overview of everything you need to know. This is part of our partner news series and is a paid collaboration between Keep Productive and Ample Note. So let's dig into these releases. The first of those is plugins and open AI. Obviously we've seen a lot of different applications get this, but the most exciting news around this is you can now build plugins to extend the functionality of Ample Note. Now you can go ahead and create a plugin, create a new note first and add the details of the plugin inside a table. Then you can add the likes of JavaScript logic inside a block code. Now, as you can imagine, it is uh, in first official integration here and it generates text using GPT-3 directly at the cursor position based on some instructions and it can take the selection of an input and generate new text related to it. And you can also act on the whole note by using it to summarize that note in total. And users can customize and extend this functionality further. So the second release is tables. It is something they are upgrading. Tables have already been an ample note, but they're getting much more improved. Resizable columns, text alignment, text and background colors, column sorting and cell border customization as well to really take tables to the next level. Now for those developers, coders out there, code blocks are getting much better. They're now supporting syntax highlighting for various programming languages as well as some IDE which apparently means integrated development environment features like indentation and automatic parentheses. Attachments are getting much better. You can now attach PowerPoint, Excel and Word and then all supported inside of Ample Note. Image options are also getting an upgrade. Images can now be centered and images can now support captions as well. Reference filtering is also getting better. Now you can filter the back links of a note. And in this example, say you're searching the meeting notes to browse all of the meeting notes you've taken in the past. The improvement is that you can now filter only to see certain meeting notes. For example, you might want to browse only the meetings in which Andrew was present by clicking the Andrew dedicated note in the filter menu. Now filters are also getting better when it comes to quick open filters. You can use quick open in Ample Note to quickly navigate your way to anywhere in the app. And now you can use the filter by tags and by categories. And in this example, we're searching for all journal notes that can be also containing tasks in them as well. Now, bulk note operations are also getting better, which means you can add, remove tags, archive and delete as a bulk in a multi-select note. Sidebar peak viewer is now accessible too. When you can click, press control click on a new note, the note will open up in the sidebar. Notes can be collapsed while in the sidebar. And when navigating the, with quick open, you can press control enter on a note to open it in the sidebar too. The peak viewer and the main editor can communicate, which means you can drag and drop things between them, which is very useful if you're making a weekly plan by extracting tasks from multiple notes. Now, next up, you've got natural language dates as well. Now you can enter the start date of a task using natural language and Apple Note will apply it to the task. Task animations. When you complete a task, it's getting a lot more satisfying. It will show you how high that task score was and higher scores will generate more exciting animations too. Quick task add is getting much easier for capturing tasks, which means that you can now add tasks from anywhere in the app. You can open the quick menu by pressing control O and start typing out the description of the task. It is great um, because you can quickly press enter if it doesn't exist and just create that task. You've also got save searches. In task mode, you can apply some filters to your search and now you can save that search in the left side bar for easier access, which is great for quickly accessing it. In this example, I'm, ex I'm saving a combination of tags and references. Mobile widgets are also getting an upgrade. Ample Note now has task list and agenda view widgets, which is great for seeing showing due tasks, durations, and support all the filtering and sorting options available inside the full application. And there's also a button to quickly add a task straight from the home screen. And if you wanna capture tasks better, there's now a new mobile share sheet allowing you to access it on Android and iOS. You can quickly share that and save the content and you can even edit the content before saving it into your notes. And finally, mobile quick taskbar improvements have been added 
allowing you to, with the quick taskbar on mobile, being much more powerful and now supports, integrate, interprets data written in natural language. And you can select the destination of the task before actually creating it and also add images to that task. So that's everything that's new inside of Ample Note. This recent couple of months, it's been um, obviously improving and growing as a note taking experience. And you can check out all the details about Ample Note below. Thank you very much to Ample Note for being part of the Partner News series. And I hope that you have a fantastic day. If you're new to Keep Productive, do make sure to subscribe. Cheerio, folks.